found this quote uh, a while back, and I think it's very apropos to uh, the process for change. Um, and we hear a lot about change. We hear we, we heard a lot about change from uh, uh, various administrations, where, you know, at different times in our history, uh, post-industrial revolution, and so on. Um, and it's true, and some of you may know this. This is called the extent of adoption, and it's basically the extent of adoption over time. Uh, and it, it couldn't be more apropos to today uh, in, in illustrating where we are with the green movement, where we are with sustainable design. Uh, obviously, it starts on with early experimentation at the university level. Uh, Bruce has uh, gotten us involved in several uh, uh, grants at Columbia University. We did a study on precast with recycled glass uh, to try to use uh, recycled bottles and cans and things like that in the building materials. Uh, then there are pilot projects, and certainly four times square, I think, would be counted among the many pilot projects that predates LEED. It was a LEED pilot project. Uh, and all of that moves along until you get, and you notice that the curve starts to get a lot steeper. And I think right now, we're somewhere between, depending on the magnitude of the issue, popularization and regulation. Um, we're fortunate to have a very progressive government here in New York State. Uh, which has adopted things like the New York uh, Green Building Tax Credit legislative move, uh, the Local Law 86, which is the uh, city's response to sustainability. And that only happens because the people, it's become a popular enough issue that it's now uh, prevalent in commercials and in advertising. Um, I mean, I, 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 we pulled these out from uh, just watching the Olympics the other day, uh, you know, the Ford commercial with Kermit the Frog. I mean, can you imagine this stuff? When I was a kid, we, you know, people weren't, uh, you know, Kermit was not a spokesman. Uh, uh, EP Solar, you know, it's, it's beyond petroleum instead of British petroleum. And, and, and we also have to, you know, I think some of us who have been doing this a while, uh, we're a little bit skeptical. You know, I see a lot of advertisements for hybrids, and then we also see, as Bruce likes to say, for Hummers. Uh, and we're not really sure what the message is. We're sort of into it, we're sort of not into it. Um, uh, but it is, it is encouraging to see that at least uh, uh, the big market uh, commercialization of sustainability is definitely out there. Whether it's being uh, executed to the highest and most awful level is yet to be seen. But uh, again, we can only address the issues that come from the building of buildings. But it, it, I think it's a real sign that we've reached uh, well into the population side of the adoption curve. Uh, and, and it's a very important uh, model because it will help us realize uh, that there is an end, a positive end that is, that is going to come. Well, I think the fact that these <coughs> these industries are, are just willing to put out there, put themselves out there and, and, and feel safe about it and feel that it is a positive, puts them in a positive light is a, is a major swing. 